Hello, hello, hello everyone and this is going to be the four degrees of freedom versus blah or as we like to go ahead and say the Zurich. The degrees of freedom is our dear Raul who is going to try and go and fight against our undefeated player of the tournament currently which is blah and Nachike is actually playing extremely well on Tolerim Alter Ali the MLG version uh, they're going to be trying and scouting each other and see how this is going to expand this is going to be a good time for me to get my dear buddy in Mr. Gotham work what do you think are your predictions for this game well I would say this is one of the most Zerg favored maps because the map is so huge uh, I was I'm guessing four degree expected his opponent to expand which he hasn't but luckily for him, his mindset is to expand. He actually went full and then hatch, just to make sure that he doesn't get cannon rushed. And so, so far, so good. Pretty safe openings from both the opponents. And he's put down his first cannon. He's gonna wall off his base to avoid any kind of harassment or maybe a link run by. And uh, so far, yeah, looking pretty good. Zerg should be able to drone hard knowing that his opponent has expanded too so expect Zurich to have a drone lead pretty early in the game now we'll have we're actually waiting let's see those oh there you go he walls in completely so no Zerglings are getting in today and now he can safely expand yeah Zer four degrees feeling pretty safe he's like okay and uh, as you can see right now we have 22 to 19 you'll slowly see Zerg catching up because his second hatch kicks in and uh, let's see how this goes. Is he gonna two base all in? Is he gonna expand? Try to catch up or go further? Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think this is going to be a strong macro game, which uh, you won't see really a lot of action coming before the 10, 12 minute mark. And these Zerglings are gonna just sit outside and watch this. And uh, like all true Zerg, this is something which is phenomenal. He sees that wall off happening and says, I'm not gonna expect any pressure. It's a great time for me to go ahead and go for my third. And uh, there he goes. And uh, a three base Zerg versus a two base uh, Protoss is gonna be really interesting. A couple of gateways going down. Uh, gateways are ready. These guys have actually come on the wrong side of the fence. And they should really be on that side, but that's okay. Uh, while this is happening, great positioning by the Zerg. He's got one Overlord standing here, another one standing here. I, I don't know why they're not shooting each other, but that's fine. The game is now I think there goes that uh, destruction. And enough of the units are coming down. Uh, I have no idea why four spine crawlers are required by the Zerg to go ahead and protect this base. And a fifth. Uh, and this is the Spore Crawler. I think he expects maybe some DTs to come on by. Rocks are going down here. And uh, Blink's mean nearly research. There's Burrow which is coming in. Which basically means some Roach action should be coming in. And there's the Jewel re uh, Reconstruction. Uh, and a couple of Infestors coming in. With a Baneling Nest. Interesting developments that are happening uh, in this map lot of zerglings sitting here and the zerg says you know what i'm still not seeing any action i'm going to expand and here comes delux to go ahead and try and take some of this action down that's because of the toxic environment so they will actually go ahead and be successful but while that is there i think a base trade will happen that is cancelled and uh, a big attack is actually happening here we'll go ahead and destroy a lot of this entire army and i think they are now going to wait and develop further technology to go forward. You have Neural Parasite going down for the Zerg, and Templar Archives are going to go down for the Protoss, along with Weapon Level 2. Um, again, this patch has been created for this base, which are both getting reconstructed very soon, I believe. A uh, good push is going to come down here, and God will tell us whether this will go ahead and be successful. Okay, the hatch is gonna get cancelled right about now. I'm hoping cancel, cancel, cancel. And he cancels. And a lot of spines waiting for him to greet him. There's actually a disaster there too. Let's see if he can catch him. Oh wow, a good uh, burrow action there, actually putting coaches in front of the thing. And there you go, some uh, force wheels so the uh, stalkers can't blink. And Roaches clean up all the mess. Stalkers have no option but to retreat. Uh, I guess Blah came out, definitely came out ahead in this. Uh, 
little attack that we have and let's see what happens now gla is actually researching uh, overload drop and overload speed and baneling speed so i'm guessing more baneling drops uh, are should be coming after this so small attack uh, with some force shields and both this let's see and there goes oh, he's not putting any fun look he just decided to walk his uh, there you go burrow he does not have any detection right now he's trying to take out the high temps and i think this little macro thing here anyways so going on he's making some immortals to counter the roach play he should actually made immortals plot earlier more roaches here more fights going down the stocks the infestor is trying to get out of there safely and roaches get out too bla is 133 to 4 degrees 111 And Blas putting on more hatch. Oh wow! He just spawned. Okay, that hatch is going down soon. Let's see how this goes. What do you think? Uh, so this is gone, and uh, well, that hatch never got cancelled. So there, there go down some minerals, and that should be wrapped up really fairly quickly by the uh, roaches. And you see enough action going down here. Enough roaches drop into the mineral line, but there are no minerals in the mineral line, and enough of these stoppers should be able to go ahead and take these roaches out. There is enough uh, detection out there to go ahead and prevent anything. So this is really back and forth and really interesting. And at this stage, you just see a lot of banelings uh, getting morphed. And I think there are going to be some nice baneling drops that are going to be coming down very, very quickly. Uh, there are some high templars, but I don't see the use of them because there is no big expansion, big uh, research going on for them. They're not warping into archons, and they're not having any. storms ready so i don't know what that is this is going to be a good push and here comes some bailing drops and the entire middle of their army gets wiped out and the zoglings come in to go ahead and wrap everything up and that is going to be major major destruction and these guys are just warping in and really not doing too much here there is some push but they're just walking by and these guys are going to get sniped down very 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 quickly uh this is good this is actually a very interesting development that is going on here Oh my god seven ultralis coming down and these guys are just going to get massacred uh, if they don't go ahead and get support while well, the 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 drones are just saying you know what we'll just wrap everything up the scv uh, the ultralis are down and they're popping all over the map there they are there's seven of them and they are five three right now and uh, what is storm finally gets researched but is it enough uh, 13 stalkers four sentries one high templar and one immortal to take down seven ultralists 33 zerglings one baneling and one and uh, three queens ah uh, i don't know and there there is another baneling which is getting ready uh, if that drops here this is going to be goodbye to a lot of uh, drones and boom <laughs> yeah i definitely like that boom uh Actually, our Protoss four degrees is ahead economically. He has more workers, but clearly the wow, those swarms did not do anything. Not the best best unit to put swarms on. I think he has quite a lead now with this. Those ultras are gonna clean up anything. Best to just sitting there and doing a dancing along with the ultras, He's just doing it. random stomach shake dance and this ultra is going to eat anything let's see what he does what does he make to counter this he does not have anything uh, wow a lot of dps are coming to come out and they're just getting okay, no protection from the zerg they're taking it back to that they're getting just coming they're like oh why does that get killed while everything else is getting killed and nice fungal wow he actually saw that without any detection he just saw this random blips on the map on the random a little you know cloak unit on the map is and there you go more and oh wow he decided to forget that i am going straight for this base i was like okay he's still trying to hurt him economically because he thinks he has a lead he has the bases to support this but there you go he's going to take out his bases uh, his all the expos that uh, protoss has so he's only mining from one base so one base protoss and There is two exposed for Zerg actually. There's uh, the one that got destroyed earlier. And there we go. I think this is game over. He lost. This is his last one. There we go. That's. I think he should be in second. Round. That he lost most of the gold here. Eleven gold, eleven ten gold, eight gold, seven gold. GG comes in. Blah. GG. It's very good game. I was very interesting.